Hello everybody, my name is Michael Gray. Hello everyone, once again. Yes, he's returned for uh, two more videos, uh, number 10 and number 11. The, uh, the most, uh, the most decimal and the most prime of the, uh, of the videos. Definitely. So, I mean, you were gone for the past three videos. Uh, what happened was we went to jail and we busted Detective Jowd out of jail. And then he was immediately caught, which is sort of a failure. Did we kill everybody on the way out, at least? Um, I believe we took care of two deaths. Maybe, no, we took care of three deaths in the meantime. Now we're at the Justice Minister's office where we have another death. Yeah, well, that'll happen. Well, this time it's not Lynn, surprisingly. I mean, hey, you know, variety is the spice of life, so... Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's nice to have a non-Lynn death in there, because there are just so damn many of them. Yeah, uh, it's also nice to have a brand new character. I guess he's technically not new. We saw him for, like, ten seconds earlier in chapter number yeah. three, but... Yeah. He's still sort of like a new character to us. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's, uh... It's nice. And yeah, variety. Spice of life. Mm -hmm. Um... I mean, kind of. All right. Man, in this case, you know, so. variety is the spice of death, because, um... I see what you did there. Yeah. It's kind of shame that we have to meet him under these circumstances, considering that, you know, pretty much you only get to meet new people when they die, which is kind of crappy, kind of a downer, you know? At least we don't have a situation where, you know, Sissel wants to talk to somebody, so he asks Lynn to kill them on purpose. Good point, man. I mean, that, that'd be, be a very different game. You know, if they make a ghost trick number two, we could have something like that. Or maybe we could just have a serial killer. <laughs> like, I really need this information on how to solve this puzzle. And this guy's the only one who has it. He won't talk to me. Yet. <laughs> so, you know, you figure out how to drop a piano on his head or some stuff like that. Yeah, uh, it's just a good thing that Sissel doesn't use his ghost tricks to hurt people. Hmm. Well, he does to a certain cer certain extent. I mean, the uh... yeah, the bad guys. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like the justice minister here, or you know, his uh, his wife. Um, we established that it's his wife. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big, uh... Published back in chapter three. Yeah, the the big lush lady. I mean. I mean, we annoy the crap out of her. Yeah. Just, you know, to get what we need to get. That's pretty she's a, she's a horrible mother. And she is. What do you think? And an alcoholic. Yeah. But, you know, maybe she only gets alcoholic when it's her deadline and she's trying to write. Yeah. Maybe that's... the rest of the time she never, she never drinks. I sincerely doubt that. Me too. I'm just trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. So I think this death is interesting because, as you can see, it's a long, drawn-out death. Yes, it is. Pretty much everybody else dies instantly, but this man has a panic attack and a heart attack, and it just keeps going and going. Yeah. Oh god, this is this was my least favorite part. Um, I mean, people will see here soon why, uh, but it took me a hell of a long time to you know, get the timing on this down there. Uh, Both halves of the puzzle are ridiculously complicated. Yes. Yeah. They are. Um, uh, and I think um, one of the things that 
kind of hurts, so I don't know if this is intentional or not. The solution is actually rather simple if you know what that is. So, like, spend, like, five, ten minutes trying to figure out how to solve the puzzle, and the solution is, oh, we just have to sit and wait for, like, two minutes. Yeah, that, that, uh, oh, I mean, that's... I mean, it, when you, when you've got a timer there, and, you know, you took it down, and you're like, I gotta solve this, I gotta solve this, I gotta solve this. That is just the worst, you know? It's... Yeah, because you want to solve it as quickly as possible. Right, and you're like, oh man, what's going to happen? I, 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 like, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do this. Then having to compact everything into, you know, 30 minutes down at the end. Um, but, or sorry, 30 seconds down at the end. It's, uh, it's stressful. I mean, it is what it is. But, uh... uh This is an interesting mechanic here, I think, just with the uh, the kidnappers, the blue people have kidnapped his daughter. You actually find out some new information if you uh, go through the phone line to uh, the kidnappers' hideout. Of course, we're going to be going there anyway in the next chapter, so I don't think it really matters, but... If you go there, you find out that, you know, she's using a voice machine. So, I mean, the little girl who was screaming, Papa, help me, that was just, that was just like a tape recorder. And interestingly enough, you know, the, the murder, or... Oh, am I actually going there and showing this? I, I am. I guess I just spoiled everything I talked about. What do you know? Oh, whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Ain't no thing. No big deal. Yeah, see? Just a voice recorder. Why do you think they're blue? Just to indicate the fact that they're from a different country, and so it's easier to know who the bad guys are. So it's a race thing. I imagine so. Mm. I, I imagine it'd be something like that, or something like all the bad guys wear funny-looking hats. You've got to come up I mean, with an excuse. I mean, if you want to make up an excuse to put all the bad guys together, I guess blue skin works as well as anything else. Hmm. I wonder why I managed... I'm not sure why I kept this in the video, because you can't do anything in this location. For some reason, she, you know, calls and makes the threatening call, and then she just leans against the wall for the next five minutes. Or I guess technically four minutes. She is just a boring, boring woman. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Even though the justice minister is there and he sees that the kidnapping is fake, he instantly forgets about it. I mean... Optional, because it's optional for you to see that. Right. Oh, here I am, fast-forwarding. What do you know? God, I will say, I mean, I I, I love the fast-forwarding games like this. Just I think I, I touched on this before, just because 
you know, it, it, it's sucky to have to go through, uh, you know, stuff you, you know, you know story-based games, it's like, I don't know, having to, you know, if books made you go back and reread chapters and you didn't get, you know, everything right on the pop quiz a little bit at the end of the, uh, yeah. at the end of the chapter, it becomes tedious, you know, at that point. Well, I also think this game has one of those features where you can read all the dialogue. I imagine if you, like, press the up button or something, like, the uh, upper screen will show all the dialogue that you just went through. In case you accidentally skipped something and, you know, didn't read it. Mm. That's useful. All right, so for this puzzle, this puzzle, we're finally getting to it. You just want to flap the flag at the proper moments. Just watch this guy writhe in pain in the meantime. better if he wasn't convulsing like that. Alright, so we save him at the last second and you have to make sure to get to oh. the water jar at the right time, it otherwise you'll be stuck. It took me forever to figure that out. Oh, he just drank it. Well, <laughs> I mean, it, it happened to me, I figured out how to get the water jar to him, but I did not figure out that you had to actually jump to the water jar for that one second he's holding it in the air. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, it took me forever just to figure out, you know, flapping the flag in the water jar, because I thought it was that originally. Mm-hmm, but and you didn't do anything. Did. Yeah, it doesn't do anything until it's off balance. Yeah, and uh, I even tried it a couple times then, and I guess I just didn't hit it at the right moment. And I, you know, I spent the, the remainder of my time, you know, trying every little thing I think of to finally, you know, I just tried it again. Oh, and this, this. Well, I'm going to do the fastest solution for this, but yeah. I think this is clearly, this is clearly one of the situations where they wanted you to play around with everything and figure out how it works. And I mean, you know, once you get over to this point, it's neat, um, because there's, you know, there, there, there's, uh, some, uh, not seesaws, but, uh, um, mini birds, uh, 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 some little, like, little balance, uh, stuff you can do. I mean, that part was neat, but, um, I think, oh, God, the first part of this puzzle it took forever, because I think, while I was doing it right, and I was kind of doing it right, and, yeah. Uh, I think the part what drives me crazy is, um, you know, you can turn the globe around, and that's what totally threw me off. Mm hmm Because if it's facing the wrong direction, oh, guess what? You, you've failed the puzzle. Yeah. And if you did everything else correctly. You think that in four walk, too. Alright, here we go. Here we go, that's that's your It's not a very fast solution to the puzzle, but it's the fastest solution to the puzzle, and you'll notice it takes like ten, maybe twelve steps. Mm-hmm. We finally get we get the medicine to this guy, and then, well, if his wife is an alcoholic, then you know he's a drug addict. Right. He takes all of those pills at once. I feel very bad for their daughter. Uh, Maybe yeah. that she's been kidnapped because you know what? 
She's out of she's out of this horrible horrible place. I was gonna say it's probably gonna be inherited too. I mean. Yeah. Okay, so wow, that I think that's it. We basically solved the major um, puzzles of this chapter. Yeah, you got the pill dance. The pill dance is your is the number chapter. Mm-hmm. Um, pill dance really brings together the story. Well, otherwise there would be no reason to go through the chapter. Right. I mean, pill dance or GTFO, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this is the part where Lin is basically going to be insensitive and yell at this guy non-stop. Yeah. Oh, I guess she has any room to talk. How, how many times has she died by this point in the game? Like, the I know at least two. This, um... That three, was sorry. Three or four. Four. Four times. She's died four times. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe Lynn's the Highlander. When he was apprehended, the sentence would be carried out. Uh. Yeah. Yep. Uh, next position. Next position. I should mention, we have like four minutes left in this video. And it's, I think, all exposition. And it's all exposition, which is uh, going to be undone, I believe. Yep. Yep. Oh, and now the globe comes around and smacks Lynn in the face. Keeps her alive. <laughs> like, don't stand next to conspicuous suits of armor with uh, globes on their swords. Actually, wait a minute. I believe Inspector Cabanella is going to show up at some point. I could be totally wrong here. I mean, he does outside of the Justice Ministry, but it's not. We'll, we'll see about. I, I, I can't really remember what. Chapter uh, twelve. Okay, I, I'm reading my notes because I have notes on what happens in every single chapter. Mm-hmm. So chapter twelve is when Cabanella appears <laughs> right in this location. Mm -hmm. And obviously that's going to completely destroy all the exposition which we've had, you know, so far. Change the situation around and everything's going to be different. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, is he delusional? Like, I mean, I guess technically he is delusional because he doesn't remember, you know, Sissel or anything. But then again... He does remember Sissel, he's just pretending he doesn't. Yeah, but... I mean, what, what I'm saying is... He's he... worried he's delusional because a ghost is talking to him. I mean, right, right. That's a good I'm just, excuse to be know. freaked out. Yeah, but, you know, I I know what you mean. Yeah. 
What am I doing here? I think I'm just going to the telephone and that's going to end the chapter. Off to YMT two six three nine. The kidnappers hide out. Bum 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 bum. So that's it, everybody. That's the end of chapter number ten of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. Boy, that was a lot of exposition.